Real Life Street Stars, man. We are back um, and with a scenario in which, of course, uh, we have uh, Goomba, man, uh, as far as uh, Jaguars, other half, the, the 50% of Dallas TV Network.com. Um, and we are, of course, unpacking the situation. Like I said before, um, a lot of people are invested right. uh, into Jaguar, right? into you yourself, and, of course, the situation. Uh, and, of course, previously we spoke on uh, the Shreveport incident and how everything came about as far as the integration of Solar into the team, <laughs> quote unquote, and, uh, you know, everything that kind of came about with that. And, um, you know, it's funny because, you know, as we did part one of that, yeah. uh, you know, Jaguar called in and of course we was able to speak with her. So therefore it is active. Com- We're fluid right now. Fluid. It's active. We're very fluid right now. Very fluid. Um, but I do want to get into the situation. Um, and I want to approach it delicately, delicately, because um, again, like I said, there's your side, right? There's her side, right? And the truth, and we're just here to unpack it. And um, um, it's as I stated, I was with you, talking to you Friday, mm-hmm. spoke to you Saturday, in which, of course, me and you spoke about just your concerns mm-hmm. about what's going on, mm-hmm. how volatile things were from Friday morning, night mm-hmm. morning, going into Saturday, mm-hmm. how volatile things were. And I just, you know, we were just talking about as far as, you know, what do we need to do to get things right? And um, you did the right thing. Uh, and I'm, uh, there's a lot of things that happen. I'll let you fill it in. But you did the right thing by saying, hey, I'm going to go clear my head. Right. I'm going to go to a local barbershop um, yep. in, out here in the city. Yep. And clear my head. Yeah, my my place of refuge. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I've been knowing the owner for years. Matter of fact, uh, he's he's been cutting my hair ever since I was 12. Uh, oh wow, 12. What? Damn. I'm talking my way back. He knows he knows me from when I was an uh, adolescent. Damn. You know, okay. when we first came back from from Austin, uh, we we lived here in Dallas before we transferred to Tulsa. <clears throat> then when we was up in Tulsa, we came back. You know, Bobby was the first person that we went to. Um, you know, we, 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 we've seen him evolutionize his his business to the point where he was with a partner and just opened up his own. Wow, wow. You know what I mean? And uh, So this ain't just a fly-by-night barbershop that oh, you just pulled no. up on? No, no, ain't no fly-by-night barbershop I pulled up on. Matter of fact, like I said, he, 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 he's been there for me ever since I grew up. Wow. Uh, <clears throat> went to high, went through high school, uh, went to war, came back, uh, got my barber license, and even cut in the shop. Mm. You know. Um, so I want to do this like this because I want to be able to, I'm going to ask a couple of questions mm-hmm. and uh, I'm going to, you know, hopefully you'll be able to answer. And because um, I, I want you to paint the story, but again, there's, I'm coming from, I guess, an audience perspective right. as far as what's going on. So right, I want right. to be able to have you answer. Um, first and foremost, of course, everything that transpired the night before, and I know there were some things that happened prior to you going to the barbershop as far as with uh, Jaguar Solar and just kind of just getting things, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Figure yeah. it out. Um, so- what made you go to the barbershop um, give us a time frame as far as what time of day was it and what was Jaguar's uh, mentality in that time frame of you leaving to go get your head cleared at the barbershop? So, um, that day when they left and said that it was going to the studio, um, me and Jaguar had a conversation. And she I asked her, you know, uh, what studio are y'all going to? Cause the boys ain't answered the phone call. So, you know, and she was like, uh, <clears throat> if he was listening in the car, everybody knows where we're going. I said, okay. Since everybody know where, where we're going, let me go ask this nigga. So I I go outside the room and I interrupt uh, him and Sam's uh, conversation, whatever the fuck they was talking about. And I said, uh, "Say, bro." Sam being your stepson. Yeah, my stepson. Uh, I said, uh, "Say, bro, uh, what studio the Jags are y'all going to? 
Well, well I don't know. I don't, I don't recall what studio. Like, she didn't tell me. Like, she didn't tell me the plans. Oh, okay. So I go back in the room and I ask Jack, like, yo, this nigga say he don't know what studio I'm going to. So what, where you going? I just need to know for your safety. <clears throat> I left it alone. She decided to leave. And I told her, like I said before, I told her, I said, uh, if you leave with this nigga, I'm, don't worry about me. Don't worry about coming home and I'm be here. You know what I'm saying? So she decides to leave with him. And before she left, she, uh, <laughs> She gave me an ultimatum. She said, I, I have a compromise for you. And I said, well, what is it? She said, if you give me the gun, I'm going to take him home and I'm going to come back. Wow. <laughs> I looked at her and said, hell no. You really expect me to give you my gun right with this nigga who fucking been putting you in a spell this whole time, and I've been trying to talk to you, and you, you fighting for this nigga, but not me. You expect me to give me my gun to you to ride? No, 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 that's not happening. So she burnt out with this nigga. Like I told her, I said, you leave, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to be home. So they leave. Like I said, uh, they get on... Uh, um, King Payne's channel and talk about me abusing her, me abusing the dog, me uh, uh, pointing a gun at him and her and and how he feels like uh, I'm not supposed to be with Jag and, and how I mistreat her and I beat her. Like, bro. So I wanted to be fair. Like, you're, this is your wife, so yeah. right? In your head, your psyche, did you ever be like, man, I'll just whoop his ass? <laughs> what? Yes, bro. But what what stop you from just whooping his ass and just, hey, that's just what it is. I'm going to whoop his ass and we're going to take him, we're going to leave him right here. What's, why didn't you do that? The peace of God. My love for my wife. Me respecting her decision. Man. Me stepping back as a man and not realizing what my wife's plan really is because she doesn't tell me everything always. And sometimes I have to piece shit together. Right. So I have to ask, um, and I'm just curious, was mm -hmm. there any abuse in the relationship prior? Fuck yeah. Okay. Physical. Physical. Hmm. Uh, mental, uh, uh, emotional. Mm. I ain't never beat her like fucking I beat Tina. You know what I mean? I ain't never put my hands on her like that. I ain't never bought my fist up, never slapped her, never none of that shit. It might have been a shove over the bed or something like that. And did it go both ways? Like Fuck first, yeah, it went both you... ways. Mm. And I wish she would say she, it, it didn't. Mm. But that ain't true. People that know me, Know that, yo, this nigga is cool, calm, collected until you fucking trigger him. Mm. And if you know how to push my motherfucking buttons, of course, it's going to be easy to make me react. It's coming from an honest place. Right. But was there any abuse to the dog? Like, did yeah, you, I'm, did, not, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, 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 there was abuse to the dog. Yeah, I did punch the dog in the ribs. I don't you know. I... Yeah, I did that. Is this your dog, y'all's dog, or Jag's dog? Like just Jag Jag got the dog for my birthday. Oh. As a birthday gift. Oh. As an emotional support dog. And at the time I was going through my mental health illness and, and everything like that and not taking my medication like I'm supposed to, or not being on the proper medication that I was supposed to be on, because they put me on three different medications at the time. Mm. And I was going through the shit, coming out of my pores, smelling bad, make me feel terrible or make me feel fucking dormant or like I'm a zombie until I found the right fucking medication. Mm. 
And the way I found the right medication was that day that I put the gun to my head and I told her to stop talking about my mother. And if she mentioned my mother's name, I was going to shoot myself. I did that shit. I, I'll be dead ass honest. I ain't got no fucking reason to lie. I did that shit. And, I, and I'm ashamed that I was fit. I was physically, spiritually, emotionally abusive to my wife. I wasn't in my fucking right mind. We all guilty. We all guilty of that shit. You, I would blame medication. Do you, I, do, you do you feel the same way? I, I've said that, and uh, <laughs> I told my wife about that, and she believed me. She didn't believe me. She made her assumptions. <sighs> But I was letting her know, yo, these different medications are making me fucking feel different. And side effects. And the side effects is totally fucking different, you know what I'm saying? And, and they take a long time to kick in. Boy. Long time to kick in, bro. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And the VA don't fucking play. Like, yo, they put you on something, that's that. Unless you come back and you fucking tripped out or you done fucking had an episode. Oh, I'm about to kill myself. Yo, yeah. the suicidal shit. Because that's a side effect to some of the medications that they, they put me on. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about depression, boom, just, just bottom lined to the point where she didn't fucking want to be around me. And I, did, I don't blame her. And if it was any average other bitch or any average other woman, yo, they wouldn't be fucking around me. That's why I love her the way I love her. So let's... With that being said, Friday happens, Saturday comes in. Of course, you know. I get woken up by the police, yep. Yeah, that happens. You, you, I can only imagine your mental state based Yo. on where, what, what's going on. Yo. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? Like I um, mentioned, I'm thinking, yo, they done finally fucking got her. Yeah. Because I know, like I said before, I, I know how the cops or how law enforcement works when you make those type of phone calls late at night. Because most of the troopers that I worked with, most of the law enforcement I worked with, they said those are the worst calls that they ever have to fucking make. All right. Based on you going to um, the barbershop. Yeah. Uh, uh, Jaguar came up there. Uh, did you summon her up there or did she just chose to go up there and know where you were and just drove around looking for you? All right, so let me tell you this. When I realized that she was gone and she wasn't gonna fucking come back and after the fucking cops had woke me up, woke everybody up in the fucking house at five o'clock in the fucking morning and everybody, all our neighbors, everybody, um, I called her and I asked her, why'd you do that? She, it's, it wasn't me, it wasn't me. King Payne verified it later on in, in a live that we did right after the situation Saturday <clears throat> that he was on the phone in the background and heard her tell the lady everything. That shit never happened at the fucking house. Now a situation in the car across the state lines, that is true. You know what I'm saying? Um, so let's be totally transparent. Um, after that situation, you know, again, I'm, sh I'm sure you're feeling how you're feeling. Jaguar yeah. still with Solar. <laughs> They're still side by side and you're not, you're not in the picture. Not in the picture. But you're going to the picture. You're headed to the picture. And it's either, hey, Jag, I want to talk to you. Don't let him be around. Let's just, me and you talk, husband, wife, let's figure this out. No, that, 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 that never would happen because she wanted him around the whole time. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking like, yo, four years, three days. <laughs> four years, three days. So you Which get, one you gonna fucking pick? Are you picking three days before four years? What the fuck is going on? This nigga got you like that for real? That's the question. So, like, yo, he tapped in your subconscious to the point where he on live acting like he fucking on me. You smoke 50 cigarettes and you play the game all day. Tell me when you see me play the game, nigga. Watch you play the game. <laughs> okay. 
Tell me when you see me play Call of Duty. You have never seen me play Call of Duty, cuz. Because then in those three days, we was on the fucking road. You see me fucking work on the goddamn uh, DallasWTVNetwork.com. You was pouring my wife wine all the way to the top, nigga. You don't even know how to fucking pour wine, nigga. Mm. And I'm telling you, stop and you don't fucking listen to me. We went to the fucking cigar shop. My brother's in there. Respect me. My wife asked, give me, give me a margarita. Nah, baby, we've been drinking. You told me to, to, to monitor you and, and not to let you overdo it. Mm. So when you tell the brothers at the cigar shop you want to drink, the brothers listen to me. When I say no, these nah, sis, husband said no. We respect, bro. We ain't going to disrespect him like that and just give you whatever the hell you asked for. Bro saying no for a reason. Mm. I should have what the fuck I want. Bye, 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 bye. You want to fight me, fight me, fight me. You know what? It's cool. Bro, please give a one. That's all. One. Because we've been drinking earlier. Just give a one. He, bro, bro, give it to him. Just because I had, just because I said so. So I have to ask you there, Jaguars. If when it comes, just let's say when it comes to having a drink, yeah, uh, you're her rock, she's your rock. Um, y'all yeah. watch out for each other. Yeah, you know what, you know levels. Yeah, you, you know, you know, hey, yeah, you know, like we're having fun until it gets not fun. Right. And therefore, you're monitoring to make sure. Just like she knows about me. Exactly. So you're looking out for each other. Um, <laughs> she right now, and I'm saying this is going into Saturday. Mm -hmm. She's at a level to where you are. You concerned with her level of like? Okay, she's having a, just a sip. Where give her one? Are you getting concerned about? Okay, this this could go any way. Not really. Okay. Yeah. Again, you know your wife. You know what I'm saying? I, I know my wife, and I know the pain that she's in. I, I, I know the background of her, of her, of her physical shit, period, because that's my wife. Um, I, I've been there when she can't move. I've been there when she's immobile. She's been there when I'm immobile. Um... I've been there when I have to take care of her. She's been there when she has to take care of me. And this is in Texas, Louisiana, Georgia, Arizona, Philly, uh, Virginia, wherever the fuck we went. Oh, yeah, no. Again, I understand the concept of a dynamic duo. Yeah. And it's like, listen, we we're going to feed off each other. Period. We're, we're here. And Period. We're gonna, tomorrow we'll come. What? Death do us part, sickness and health, and riches of the poor. Like, you know, we always said cardboard box or a mansion. So I have to ask you, um, when you did get to where uh, Solar and Jaguar were before the barbershop incident, what took place? What, what happened? All right, so what took place was <clears throat> my love told my mother-in-law that she would be back in the morning to pick up and take her to church, which she always do, unless she's not feeling well and I take mom to church. Baby never came home that night. Uh, I called her uh, after the police had woke us up and investigated everybody and everything and told her, yo, what the fuck? How do these motherfuckers, and why are they telling me this, that, and the third? And I didn't do nothing. Okay. Then I go online and understand you went on your own page on YouTube. 911 is a joke. And you explaining to the officer what the fuck happened about you contacting the, v the VA 
or the VA lady called you and told you, hey, I work with the VA, I understand about veterans, boo, 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 whatever the case may be. While we're peacefully sleeping, you're out with this nigga eating at Velvet Taco, splurging with this nigga, skinning and grinning, and your husband at home asks you to stay with him. Don't go out. Matter of fact, let me take this nigga home and, and, and be with me so we can work on the coming together. I heard her say that as far as Velvet Taco, Velvet, uh, Solar situation, the, ta- the taco she ordered was something that was manifested and it was like something that hit her in the, you know, I'm. I didn't watch the fucking video. Yeah, it, it, you know, because you don't I was to watch. pissed off any fucking way. Right. But there were some things that were happening to where it's like a higher power is coming in. What higher power? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not trying to be funny, but. Co- is, is coincidence, I mean, coincidence happens and coincidence is, it could be questioned. Of course. You know, it, you know what I mean? And find out that y'all niggas at Velvet Taco and y'all eating brisket nachos and shit and talking to King Pain about what just happened or what happened previously earlier, but you didn't say what happened at our friend's house. You didn't say how you slapped me in my face. You didn't say, say nothing of that shit. You didn't say how you gonna kill me the first time and should get it over with, that I'm a piece of shit, that I'm, I'm beneath you. I know that wasn't you, love. Yeah, you stated that shit to me before when you was angry at me for, for the things that I was doing and not helping with the company and not being productive as your husband. But to hear you say this shit because this nigga over skinning and grinning because he done hypnotized you. I mentioned that to her. And I asked her, I said, do you remember that? And she couldn't say nothing. She changed the subject. But, uh, you know, I still love my wife. I don't, there's nothing gonna change. Yeah, we're, we're not out of love here. We're not. What fuck no? <laughs> yeah, nothing's happening. We done, to we done our... been through too fucking much, especially me in the beginning. Me putting a gun to my head, telling me if you tell say my mama name again, I'm gonna blow up my brains in, in your face, just like your exes have, or like you've been had before. So I totally get it, and you know what I mean. Nah, I understand it's her, it's her turn. So if my man, you know, didn't come home for the night at all. No, fuck that. And y- y'all come home together and he decides to leave. So go ahead. Even better, right? Mm-hmm. If my man comes home with me, decides to leave, doesn't come home for the night. You know, the first thing on my mind is, are you having sex with the person you're with? So I just want to ask, was there ever a question of infidelity in your mind? Knowing that this nigga come from a sex cult, knowing that he fucking does hypnosis, knowing that he can do anything, I don't believe there was any point in time or enough time to do something like that. And I don't believe my wife subconsciously or consciously would even do anything like that with that nigga. We know where he come from. We don't. We didn't know his fucking background, but we know where the fireman he come from. So I'm um, no, I'm no. Mm-mm. And just to paint the picture, I'm assuming Solar is about let's say let's just say ten a, years, a buck ten. ten. No, no, about ten years younger than you, or let's just say he's younger than you. For sure. Jaguar's older than you. I don't want to give out ages and all that stuff. For but sure. Jaguar's older than you. She done said it before. She's seven years older than me. She's seven years older than you. Let's say Solar's about 10 years younger than you. He's Pro- more. He's probably more, than, more. He's more than that, but yeah. Yeah, more than that. Um, so there's an age gap in, you know, what we're looking at to where, you know, it's always. Um, my wife wouldn't do that. There you go. My, 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 my wife wouldn't do that. She, she wouldn't go down that road. That's too close to her son's age. I'm, I'm too young for her. She's told me this many times. You, you is something I ain't never done before. Mm. I'm used to dating older niggas who are billionaires, blah, 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 blah. 
you just a soldier who barely got your damn check and I helped you get the check. Yeah, you helped me get my check. Thank you, baby. That's the better us. Yeah. I appreciate yeah. that. And guess what? I'm still striving to get to that hundred. I ain't that far away. Mm. But but thank you. Thank you because I didn't have the knowledge to do the things that I know now. Right. And if I didn't meet my wife and God placed her in my life, I wouldn't be in the position that I am now getting what I'm getting. Right. So Because okay. I've been fighting for years to get the, my shit. And again, I know a lot that don't get it. What? And, what? I mean, uh, and don't, and don't want to go get the shit because of, they had to deal with the bullshit. And that's a whole story in itself. A whole story in itself. I know a lot of veterans with, dealing with that bullshit. Man. It's, it, you know what I mean? Man. But we could have another conversation yeah, another, about that. Yeah, that's, I mean? that's another issue. Yeah. So I'm, I'm just curious as far as um, the confrontation prior to Barbershop with you, Jag, and Solar. Um, did that go in your favor? Did it go in Jag's favor or Solar's favor? I really think it went in that nigga's favor. Because when I called my wife, I was already at the barbershop. I, wasn't, I was making sure I wasn't going to be at the house when she came back. Like I said, I'm going to be a man of my word. I'm, you left with that nigga? I ain't going to be at the house when you come back. Matter of fact, I noticed that you got this nigga to call an Uber for the family to go to church. And this nigga was asking your phone while you was asleep. Which pissed me the fuck off as your husband. Why the fuck is this bitch ass nigga asking your phone talking about she sleep? <laughs> bitch ass nigga, wake her ass up. Since you supposed to be her personal assistant, wake her ass up and tell her she got a responsibility that for her family to do right now. Right now. Right now. Exactly. That part too. <laughs> nigga, don't touch my. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. We see worse. Yeah. That's wild. That's wild. That's wild. For someone that's been around. Better Three part, days. Better part of a, yeah, better part of a, less part Three of Three days. Um, you're, you're where you're at. You're where you're supposed to be at. She, of course, of course, again, like you said, he has a, he technically has the upper hand. John Doe has the upper hand. But you, what is your, what is your thought process? Because again, you're like, I'm going to go cool off. So you're thinking like, maybe time will heal this. Or let me just, let me process what's happening here. She's going to see what this nigga about. And she's going to call me back and apologize. Okay. Or she's going to come back. So I call her. Thinking she didn't took this nigga and took him away or whatever. I see that they online together. I'm not smart, though, but I can see the reflection in the glasses. Like I tell my wife a lot of things, a security reasons why you shouldn't be doing the way you should be doing them or what I see in what you're doing. And if I see them, somebody else definitely sees them. <laughs> I've been trained to see certain shit. And I know if I see the shit, I know the ops see the shit. So I try to explain that shit to my wife, but one ear out the other. Um, and I noticed the nigga was sitting inside next to her. So I called her. And I uh, she picked up the phone. Where you at? I'm on my way back home with, with, with my family and we go back to the house from church. Oh, so you with the church? Cool. No, no, no. I, I just picked up my, my mom, and, mom and Sam. Okay. Who, who, who's, who's the family? You know, mom, Sam, and, and Solar. Who the, what the fuck? Don't take that nigga to my house. You take that nigga to my house and he crosses my threshold, I have all right in the state of Texas, especially when my name is on the lease, to ask this nigga to get the fuck out of my house. And if he doesn't, I can use as necessary force as I can. That's Texas law. That is. Told him. Don't fucking step over my fucking threshold of my house or I'm going to beat your bitch ass. I said that. I don't want you around my fucking family, bro. You want to talk in the background, blah, 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 you big bad. I'm Jaguar's friend. That's my motherfucking wife, nigga. And she got to listen to me. Just as well, I have to listen to her. And if I feel and smell something fucking fishy, nigga, it's fishy. 
And as the order goes by the most high, it's the most high, me, Jag, Sam, Mama, and anybody else but, but, but below that. In my household, nigga, you are out of order. You're not even in that fucking order. And for my wife to think that she's above me, mm-mm. You married the wrong nigga, if you think that. And I know you don't think that, baby. I know you know the order. Without question. So, with that being said, I told him, I said, oh, that nigga's in the car too? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Motherfucker, you better not ever walk across my motherfucking threshold and when I get home, and if you there, Uh we're gonna have problems. So I ordered me a lift and went home from the barbershop. My nigga's like, hey, yo, where you going, soldier? Uh, I gotta go take care of some business because she got this bitch ass nigga up to my house. Be safe, fam. Don't do nothing crazy. I won't. I'm not gonna touch you. But I'm that nigga, oh yeah. He heard me say, don't walk in my motherfucking shit. And you stated that on the motherfucking interview. We heard you 50 times. Matter of fact, you, you said 50. We up, 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 up. You don't even, you didn't even know what the fuck to say. Mm. Then you finally said, yeah, you said 50 times over and over again for me not to. If you heard that shit, you knew the ass whipper was coming, bro. Did you feel he was ready for whatever confrontation you was trying to provide? Fuck no. Matter of fact, when I got to the motherfucking house, bro, and the Uber driver was laughing because he heard me on the phone. He's like, you got to all right to whip his ass. He ain't listening to you and he at your house and you told him not to be there. And that. Sir, uh, have a good day. I hope you beat his ass to the point where he leaves. Matter of fact, I hope he leaves before you beat his ass. Shit. Appreciate it, boss. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you have a blessed day too. You know what I'm saying? Let me go and jump out of this car and take care of this business. Shit. I go in the house. I open the door. Look down the hall where this nigga come out of my room. Uh, what the fuck you doing in my bitch ass nigga? You got ten, you got ten seconds oh, to get the fuck out of my house right now. Stop talking to him that way. I am not- shut the fuck up, woman. This is my house, as you know, and get the fuck out of here. Mama jumped in. Uh, ain't that ain't that her uh, assistant? No, mama, that's not her assistant because we have an agreement. Anybody assistant or, or, or intern has to sign a fucking contract through Philadelphia and you have to go by the bylaws. Me and my wife has created this shit. And it's, 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 that's our bylaws. Right. This nigga ain't signed shit. Right. And when I said that, my wife's mouth dropped. Like, oh shit, I forgot about that. Pick it up. Don't say nothing. Just, and I, I'm gonna escort this nigga out of my fucking house. Like I said, get the fuck out of my house, nigga. My wife tried to pull on me. Sam witch, witnessing this shit, mom witnessing this shit, and mom telling me, Jack, right, I'm gonna call the cops. I'm gonna call, okay, mama. I just want this nigga out of my house. We don't fucking know this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Get this nigga out my fucking house. He's being very disrespectful. What is he doing at this time? When you when you're like, "Hey man, get the fuck out." What is he doing? Uh, is he uh, uh, oh, is he I, I just I just want to talk. He's standing the whole time, bro. <laughs> like no point. Yeah. No no point to get out. He's like, uh, "I'm her friend. She told me to stay." Get the <laughs> get the fuck out my house, my nigga. So I I, I literally got to walk this nigga towards the fucking front door. I walk this nigga over the threshold as my wife is fucking pulling my coat pulling everything, baby, get off of me, stop. I got the right to say what the fuck I need to say, this is my house. I don't want this nigga in this motherfucker, get the fuck out of here. And mind you, you lifted back there, like. I lifted back there. <laughs> Come on. I ain't through yet. Please keep going. So, I get this nigga outside. Jackie, Jack still pulling on me. Leave him alone, that's my nephew. You don't, you, we don't know this nigga. Snap out of it, please. 
Don't touch him. If you want to fucking touch him, you fucking go through me. Hold on. I'm, you already know I'm not going to fight you. You know I'm not going to put my hands on you. Move out the way. This is man to man. Please move. No, nigga, you going to go through me. Ah! Now you're causing this big ass scene. Everybody outside. Everybody stopping. Everybody pulling over, honking the horn and shit. I get pissed off. I throw my cup down. I rah, 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 rah. I want this nigga. Understandable. She tell a nigga, get in the car. I tell a nigga, nigga, you don't know who the fuck I got watching my house, nigga. I got shooters, nigga. They gonna be here in five minutes. If your ass ain't off this property. Don't believe me, just watch. So I commence to do what I do as OG does. Youngster. Move. Okay. I did, I proceeded. I proceeded. Fuck it. I'm not staying at the house. You know, I already caused the scene. I'm going to walk. I started walking. I get to a point where there's some benches. And I sit down and I'm on the phone with one of my big bros. And I'm talking to him. Please calm me down. He calms me down. And at that point. Four minutes later, guess who flying out the motherfucking parking lot? Jagging this nigga. Zoom ass me. I fucking cussed. Motherfucking bitches. Kept going. Now here's a nigga sitting in the car like he a fucking uh, pimp and the bottom bitch driving. Mm. I'm looking like, are you fucking shitting me, nigga? Just, That's I, a wild scenario. Yo, so that I is call wild. Him. So I call him. Bloop. Oh, so you just gonna drive past me? We didn't see you, bitch ass nigga. Ain't nobody talking to you. <laughs> Shit. I'm talking to my wife, nigga. So y'all just gonna drive past me, huh? We didn't see you. Oh, okay. It hangs up in my face. Bloop. I said, well, just come turn around back, turn, turn back around, pick me up so we had this conversation. Bloop. Mm. Okay, so now I'm I'm walking. Like my big brother said. Breathing, breathing outside air. You need to breathe, 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 nigga. Walk to wherever you walking to. I'm not at the house right now, but walk wherever you need to walk to. My next stop, I'm gonna walk to the barbershop. It's fucking three miles away. I ain't getting no fuck. I got the fucking cool the fuck off. As I'm walking, my OG called me. Soldier, what's good? Y'all lady up here. Huh? Yeah, she up here screaming, bitch at where the bitch ass nigga at. Tell the bitch ass nigga come outside. You know what I'm saying? He wanna do all this shit, you know what I'm saying? We can do this shit now. You know what I mean? Woo, 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 woo. My OG tell me, I didn't notice there was a nigga in the car. I said, yeah. Yeah, they just rode past me. He said, you know, we love you. And we ain't gonna tolerate this shit. We ain't gonna let now a nigga get in between you and your wife. I said, I love you, cuz. Appreciate it. What you want me to do? I said, if they roll up there again, you already know what to do. On me. Pull that nigga out. Interrogate that nigga. Figure out where the fuck he around my wife. I already told the nigga not to be around my wife. Ask him. No doubt. What's up? What's going between you and your wife is between your wife, but we take care of that nigga, though. Cool. I ain't no, ain't no tripping. So he let me know that they pulled up, they burned off. I get a, a while as, a, as, I'm, as I'm walking, I'm calming down, praying, like, please, Lord, take this anger away from me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I understand why I'm angry, but just, just, just take it away from me. I love my wife. I just want my wife to see what the fuck is really going on. You know what I'm saying? And if she doesn't see, please show her. So as I'm walking to the barbershop, I finally make it. My guy brought my guy brought a call. Shout out to Nino. Nino Calion. Shout out Nino Calion. You know Let's saying? talk to him. You know what I mean? And uh he called me just checking on me. He's like, hey cuz, you good? Nigga, no. Where you at? I ain't got the car yet. Baby said they got the car and they went somewhere else. I'm trying to call them, tell them to come back and get me. I'm gonna come get you and we can take care of this business. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, whatever. I'm walking, bro. 
He's like, so talk to me while you're walking. For what's, what's going on? I was lacing down with everything. You know what I'm saying? He's like, you know what, bro? You know, maybe, maybe, maybe it's just time. You know, woo, 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 woo. I said, I hear you, bro. I appreciate it, but she going through something right now. Mm. And it's not her. And I know it's not her. I said, I love her so much, bro, to the point where I'm thinking about the part when I put her through something, through that mental illness part where I had and how it affected her. Mm. And she didn't leave me. She could have left me, bro, at any point in time. But my love didn't leave me. She stayed there and waited for me to get right. Yeah. So I thought to myself, you know, I'm hearing people list this, that for you know, you need to just go ahead and do you and woo 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 this, that, and the third. And I appreciate y'all suggestions. But that's my wife. I signed up for rich or poor, thick or thin, uh, 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 for better or worse, till death do us part. Yeah. That's my vow to her and God. Like, yo. No matter what the fuck we go through, as long as we have fucking communication and we, if we decide to, that's what we do. Mm. But right now, nigga, uh, we fighting for our fucking marriage. I've been wrong, she been wrong. Ain't nobody perfect in this some bitch. So, like I said, uh, I'm walking, guy brother talking to me, you know what I'm saying? I get to my destination, boom. While I'm, while I'm on my way to my destination, I keep getting phone calls from her. I'm like, why the fuck do you keep blowing me up, bro? You're not picking them up? I'm, I'm, first, I wasn't picking them up. Okay. Because I know she with this nigga. And I, and I answered, if I finally answered, you know, what's good? Meet me at the V. I ain't got no money for the V. Matter of fact, I just walked from the house to the barbershop. Matter of fact, wasn't you just at the barbershop? And you just passed me up? Like, what the fuck, bro? Now you want me to fucking go way up five more miles? You want me to walk? Nigga, fuck that. You sending me pictures of you and this thing at the bar and shit is... For what? Mm. No, nah, cuz. No, nah, I'm not I'm not about to come to the V. Because I told you if I see that nigga, I'm going to whoop his bitch ass in front of you. Because I told this nigga to leave you the fuck alone. Leave my family alone. I'm not gonna go to the VFW, fuck up my motherfucking membership, whoop this bitch ass nigga ass, you know what I'm saying, over you, and fuck up my shit there. Like, no. I'm not gonna fuck up my membership at this post. Yeah. On some stupid ass shit, cause this bitch ass nigga wanna put you up under a hypnotic spell. And you ain't seeing the fucking light. Yeah. So I told her, I said, no, I'm not coming up there. I don't, I ain't got no bread. I just spent all my bread on that bitch ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got nothing for no lift, no none of that. I spent my last money on the lift coming home. Yeah. I'm not about to do that shit. So I stayed at the barbershop. I said, if you want to talk to me, you can come to the barbershop. We can talk. I have no problem. Who up there? Why does it fucking matter who up here? You come to talk to me your husband, so come talk to me. She ain't got the phone, and I try to call her back, you know what I'm saying, let her know, hey, I'm up here, I just wanna talk, no answer. I call that bitch ass nigga, no answer. So I go on Instagram, let me see somebody live right now, cause ain't nobody fucking answering. I see this nigga live, hit that motherfucker, I'm watching. She in a trance, driving like she about to go to war. After I just said, I just want to talk to you. Just, <clears throat> everybody see the video? We've see, we seen the footage. Everybody seen the footage. And everybody heard this nigga say, I, how I, he sit there looking at, picking at the motherfucking stickers that he put on his teeth. Uh, everybody hears him say, Cause I heard him say it live. Y'all stay tuned. We about to get into some shit. While the music playing in the background, I see my baby. 
She ready for a fight. Why are you ready for a fight? I just said if you want to talk. I don't want that bitch ass nigga around, period. Mm. Why are you protecting this nigga like that? So I call, I call both of them, nobody answered. I'm like, what the fuck going on? I look up. Come in like that? Coming in hot. Shit. I'm outside smoking scrub. Shit, god damn it, Jesus, they here. <laughs> Fuck. Shit. Let me, Bobby. <laughs> Bob, Shit. Bobby, they here. Shit. They here, Bobby. Shit. So, I go inside. My nigga was like, yo, what's between you and your wife is between you and your wife. That nigga ain't gonna, involve, ain't gonna be involved in this shit. That's a real nigga. OG, appreciate it, fam. I thank you. So, she come in hot. Where the bitch ass nigga at? Bitch ass motherfucker. Oh, now, now you wanna you wanna do all this shit up here? The fucking barbershop? Well, let's go. You wanna fight somebody? You fight me. I looked at her, I said, Jackie, you are not you. And I don't know, bro, but her third eye and my third eye fucking connected. And we head to head, like we headbutting each other. And I'm looking dead in the eyes and the soul. And I swear to you, bro, she looked at me, baby, help me. This is not, this is not me right now. Like, nigga, I'm looking in her soul through her eyes, bro. Baby, help me. I need you to help. I need you to be strong. And do something. I'm fighting. I'm trying the best I can. And as soon as she said, help me the last time, bro, I promise you, our eyes glazed over. Bitch ass nigga, I'ma kill you. I prayed in my spirit. Lord Jesus, the blood of Jesus covered me. The blood of Jesus covers my wife. Devil, I bind you in the name of Jesus and you get out of here in the name of Jesus. As soon as I said that internally, she turned around and walked out the damn door. That's when I went at the back. So uh, stop right there. She pulled up on live. To make sure that I didn't know that. I know you didn't know that. It's I, see, I seen her grab the phone and pass it to that nigga. Yes. And I'm like, oh, you got this nigga out the car. Yes. You're right. Like, record this for me just what? in case. I'm gonna go in. I'm going. I told you I'm gonna beat this nigga ass. I told you that I don't want this nigga around. It's period. And we see him say And this nigga, you disrespectful like this nigga? Yeah, we see him say on live that he's there to protect her. He's on live. He has her phone saying. I'm recording. This is her phone. I'm live. I'm here to protect her while she's in there talking with you. And we see your OG telling him, no, this is a between very, them. This is between them. And there's no way you're coming. And that, in. that, that, that bitch ass nigga nutted up. You should, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. It is between them. I'm just here to protect her and everything. As long as you tell me that you protect her, you were good. Right. And my OG said, yeah, we got her. Right. We're going to make sure ain't nothing going to happen to her because we love we love soldier. Just as much as we love Jaguar. Right. Matter of fact, a week before, she walked in and apologized to my nigga, to the OG, and told him, yeah, please forgive me for the things that we had happened in the past. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was rude, woo, 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 woo. And he forgave her. You know what I'm saying? So everything everything was smooth, smooth, cope and steady after that until this bitch ass nigga came in, in, in into the picture. You know what I'm saying? So let's start. Let's pick up from there then. Yeah. She comes. That's where we see her come back walk in, outside. Walk, yeah, walk back outside after I said that prayer internally and said the devil is lying. I bind you in the name of Jesus. Get out of here. Yeah. She's coming out fussing and you said you go out the back. I see this nigga's by himself. Yeah. And I see her walking. Bet. I told my little nigga, get that nigga. And he looked at me and said, no, you get it. I said, you know what? You right. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I stop. took off. Yeah, he was moving quick. He was moving <laughs> quick. He was moving. I chopped around the motherfucking corner. I chopped around the other motherfucking corner. My nigga said, damn, nigga, you was moving like LT. Nigga, you was moving. <laughs> you was moving. At this time, that's when everybody see OG say, soldier, look out. Watch out, soldier. Don't. Come on, soldier. And my wife steps in front of this nigga. 
So yeah, so and let's do it like this. And I'm gonna paint it from the picture of what we see in the video. Uh, you come around the corner moving full speed. Mama, can I get smoke? Yes, uh, please. Yeah, you know, please. Yeah, yeah, you know. Crown the coat, please. Thank you. Yeah, cr cr crown and uh, Kiz Oak. Kiz Oak. Um, we see again. You come around the corner. Yeah. Your intention again. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go from my perspective. Mm -hmm. It was not towards Jag. Fuck no. It was strictly at on, him. At him. But I do see before the camera hits the ground that Jag notices you coming around the corner at full speed. She gets in front of you. She and, gets. She and then gets the camera hits the ground, and then there's commotion. So I want you to explain what is okay. what happens once you come in Jaguar look like like she steps in front of you. As 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 the video goes down, the camera's in this nigga's hand. As you hear him talking to OG and OG telling him, yeah, what's, what's going on between them is between them. You ain't getting involved in this shit. You got to stay the fuck out here. No problem. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here to protect her. I'm here to protect her. And like, as he says, you know what I'm saying? Thank you. As he says, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm here to protect her. I'm here to protect her. And as OG said, yo, we here to protect her too because she family. So you ain't got to worry about that shit. We hear that. Ain't shit happening. We hear that. So <laughs> this nigga pussied up. He's still holding the old camera talking. I oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that you protecting her too. We hear that. Blah, 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 blah. He holding the camera. As I said, I said that prayer. The Jaguar walks around the back. I mean, she, she, she walks back outside. As she turns around, I notice her leaving. Bet, that's my opportunity. Boom. I take off. Like I said, I chop around the corner. I had a bottle of water in my hand. I chunked that bitch. Mm. Mm. I got to get him before she get up to the front. I got to beat her to the front so I can touch nigga. I told him, stay away from my wife, nigga. Don't touch my wife no more, nigga. Stop whispering shit in my wife's ear, nigga. I see you who you are, nigga. You are a threat. You are up, cuz. And I told you, you stay around my fucking wife, I'm, I gotta put my hands on you. Cause you didn't listen to me the first time, the second time, or the third time. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna protect mine. As I come around the corner, you heard OG say, look out soldier, watch out. Don't do that soldier. She stepped in front of me. You gotta go through me. As I'm chopping up. Da, 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 da. Yeah, 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 I topped him off. So you got to him. What? Cause we don't see this. What? The, you see it because this nigga drops the camera. Right. He swung at me. He dropped the camera and swung at me. Oh my God, nigga, you done gave me the green light. What happened to first? I was just bullshitting you at first. Yeah. I, uh, uh, to see if you gonna do something. And you did. <laughs> Get over here, nigga. And I, as you hear in the video, I told you to stay away from my fucking wife, nigga. We hear it. We hear Jack. Get off here! Get off my nephew, you fuck, nigga! We hear that? We you don't... Said, you, was you saying that because you were scared I was going to kill him? It Because you, you, you know your husband? It looked troublesome. It looked you, like an issue. You know I could black out at any moment? But thanks be unto God, I didn't because I was on my medication. I was thinking about everything calculated. This nigga grabbed my hands, this nigga was saying a love spell on me. I love you, Gerald. I love you. I'll, I'll, I'll never hit you. You're my brother. Bitch, nigga, how the fuck am I your brother and I'm married to your auntie? Don't that make me your uncle, bitch? And as he said this shit, I'm feeling weaker and weaker and weaker until my nigga said, soldier. Look at him. Finish him, soldier. Nigga, you sure goddamn right, nigga. He bit ass nigga, didn't I tell you to stay? Get off my wrist, off my wife. Mm. You get off of him. He's my nephew. Shut up, he's not your nephew. Yeah, we heard that a few times. Camera comes up. 
we see you on top of him. Y'all see the dreads go back after I break that shit and nigga tell you know my I had my partner, I had my battle buddy tell me finish him soldier. I got him in the headlock and I know you see. And you see is unarmed combat that they teach us. Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Mm. I hate to say I love the fight, but I love when the fight is on the ground because that's my shit. Mm. They taught me very well how to maneuver and subdue my opponent. I'm not going to say the the real word, but subdue my opponent. Because when it comes to unarmed combat in the military, nigga, it's your life or their life. As we seen in Saving Private Ryan when they go through the the, the little village and, yeah, and the German the dude and, and, and the American dude with the knife one, fight. Model, yeah, model, Yo, one, one, model. one on one. The click, click. Oh, no shit, weapon. we ain't got no bullets. Nigga, we gonna go to the bad nets. Yes. Nigga, that shit real. And that shit kicks in. When that nigga had my wrist, I was thinking, I'm thinking while I'm beating this nigga's ass. I'm not insane. Who tells you they thinking while they fucking fighting? Pro- yeah, we're processing right now. I, I hate to say it, but I operate very well in chaos. They, they train me very well to operate in chaos. Jack has said that. He operates when the pressure's on. He operates. When it came to Philadelphia TV network, guess what? I learned that shit in 24 fucking hours. Didn't fucking know how the fuck I learned that shit. Exactly. I picked it up and I ran with it. And y'all enjoying what y'all enjoy now because of that shit. Thanks, Army, <laughs> for wiping out what the fuck I knew and building me up as a soldier. Mm. Because I will forever be a soldier. I will forever know how to operate in chaos. Because that's where I think the clearest. So so I'm curious. You, you, you have him in a headlock. But again, again, I'm just going off, off the footage I've seen. And I'm yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you couldn't see it. Yeah, yeah. Like you're on top of him. But this is, I guess, after that. Motherfucker had his knees in my chest because folks analyze this. And then slowed the damn tape down. You see, Goomba couldn't really get to him the way he really wanted to because that little bitch ass nigga had his knees in his chest. And, you know, Goomba couldn't really, I couldn't. I was thinking to myself, why the fuck I can't reach this nigga? I can't reach him. And I looked up, oh, this thing got his knees in my chest. Let me collapse that. Let me shorten the distance. Oh, now he got my wrist. Okay, cool. I'm thinking. If I strike this nigga with my bows, I can either knock him out or cut him. Now, if I cut him, that's going to be evidence that we had a scuffle. I can't do that. Oh, you processing. I told you I work well in chaos. I'm processing all the way, like you said. I'm thinking, no, don't strike him. Nigga, get your fucking hands off me. Beep, 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 beep. I'm going to hit you with these. That's why my index finger is swollen now. Because mm. how they ran the tape back and slowed it down, they see this nigga's dreads fly back before his head moves. Yeah, because when he released my motherfucking hands, I popped his bitch ass. Quick. Motherfucker, you going to feel me, nigga. Get the fuck away from my wife like I told you. I'm going to show you fat me greasy because you don't believe it. <laughs> so that end, that end up happening. I pop up. I don't know why I said what I said. Did you fuck this nigga? And slapped the phone out of her hand. I don't know if it's because this nigga said, said something to me subconsciously or not. And something in you made you say that. say that. But I didn't think to say that. You know what I'm saying? Right. It wasn't nothing like I'm asking from factual, factual, subconscious. It just popped out. And when I, when I replayed the video and watched the video when everybody was analyzing it, it's like, damn, I, I said that? I didn't really realize I said that shit. And I even told my wife that. I didn't realize I said that shit. And before I slapped the phone at your hand, I didn't realize that. 
Mm. I said, because that nigga was using his fucking spell on me and trying to make me jealous. And make it seem like it's a jealous moment that I'm fighting him. Wait, so he was whispering to you as as he was pouncing on him? I he love you can hear it in the fucking type. I love you. You're my brother. I love you. I love you. I don't want to fight you. I'm not going to hit you. You can hear it in the tape, bro. Okay. Yes. And why he said this shit, I'm getting weak and weak and weak and weak. Yeah, because no one wants to fight. Like, I need your aggression for me to go harder. If you're in it, and that's what, you know, kill him with love, you know, it's just like, all right, I'm going to, I don't want to kill him with kindness. Right. Yeah. Therefore, he's going to tear that gonna gonna every stop. spirit. Right. Yeah. And yo, like I said, when my, when my partner said, when my battle buddy said, finish him, G, finish him, soldier. You sure right. Ooh. Mm. And pythons went to work. Mm. And my nigga's like, you snap it, so just snap it. I thought about it. Man, if I snap this nigga neck, it's gonna be a murder charge. I can't do this shit. Oh, you process it. What? And I let it go a little bit. Yeah, you process it. And he try to gather out. No, nigga, you ain't going nowhere. Hold on, let me think about this again. If I do this, it's gonna be bad. It could be bad for our brand. I'm gonna be locked up. And my baby gonna be, no, nah, I can't do this shit. So I release him. That's when you see, you know, we get up and I'm beep, beep, I pop him and then I fucking slap the phone on my wife's hand. So I want to get to the most important part. And this is very important right here. Jag said, as that was going on, one of your guys commenced to either knock her down, push her down, physically alter her situation. Mm -hmm. In which I want you to address that. If you've seen that happen, if you noticed it, if you saw whatever she's saying, not saying it didn't happen or not, because again, she said it happened. That someone on your in the bar, someone there, either the OG or someone, one of your one OG, yeah, one of your guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. physically, one, one, one of the ones that that love me, yeah, physically yeah, yeah. came on to her to get her. I'm gonna in tell a different you like position. this: I, I, I didn't, I didn't know none of that shit because my main focus was getting this bitch ass nigga away from my wife. You want to try to prove that I'm a bitch, nigga? I'm going to show you I'm not. I will fight for mine to the death, nigga. My wife knows that. And for her to be on this side screaming, get off my nephew. This is not your nephew. We don't know this nigga. And for you to say that you've been knowing this nigga for two weeks, yo, that tells me this nigga put you in some type of motherfucking hypnotic spell. For it to be that strong. To be that strong that you tell the cops that, that you know this nigga for two weeks and we only seen this nigga three days. You are the queen of transparency. You are my love. You are my rock. You are my everything. And I love you, and I don't want to see you go down this fucking path, and I'm trying to warn you. But you don't believe me. You don't believe anything I say because of what I've done in the past. I lied to you about myself because I didn't want to look bad. I didn't want you to fucking get away from me because I'm, I'm dealing with mental illness, and I'm dealing with PTSD due to combat. And, and, and I'm not taking my medication the way I'm supposed to take it at the time. Because I'm I'm scared of how it's working with my body. And I, I'm scared that you're going to fucking leave me like everybody else has. But you have been the only person who told me my dreams. Damn. You're the only person that told me what I say in my dreams when I speak out loud. When I talk in my sleep. Every, every other relationship that I fucking had, they would tell me, baby, you know you're sleeping, you know you're uh, talking in your sleep. Oh, yeah, my mom taught me that all the time. You know, ooh, ooh. what did I say? Oh, nothing. It was nothing bad. Two weeks later, you can't deal with me. You know, it's time for us to, to be done with. Right. My wife is the only person in this world. And that's why I love her so fucking much to tell me what I've said in my dreams. And it be some fucking fucked up ass shit. And that coming from a real place. Yo, I'm talking about 
back in the war type shit, uh, baby, you talking about you did this, this, that, the third. Huh? For real? Verbatim like that? Mm. Like you said, other other women have left in that sense. Left because they're scared. She has she persevered. Stayed, persevered. Told me verbatim what I said. And shit scared the fuck out of me at times. All right, so Goomba, I want to do it like this. And this is a very, very touchy subject, man. And uh, we got to navigate this correctly. Mm -hmm. um, after that altercation went down, mm -hmm. we see Jaguar. And again, I'm just going off the live. We see her run back to the car. Angry. Yeah. Upset. Yeah. yeah. Mind you, um, she has been in here to do interviews. And we're doing a podcast where she spoke on her son. Giovanni. Uh, Giovanni. God bless the dead. Where she's able to touch her son, speak yeah. to her son. I've, and, I've, I, we've act, we have actually touched her son. And we have actually spoke to her son, his ashes. We have both done that. I could have easily been like, fuck no, nah, nigga, I'm not about to do that shit with right. you. But I'm your husband. I'm proving to you that I am 100% with you. I did not meet this young man. I heard of his demise. I seen his demise. Right. And it hurt me to the point to think and hear your story on how you learned about his demise. Right. I've been the only nigga that to support you to actually take you to the site. Mm. And let you vent the way you vent because you lost your firstborn. Right. I stayed by your side. I was there when you, with you when you fucking wrecked that goddamn lobby. Mm. For your son. Mm. You wanted to go to jail that night, but I told them people, please don't call the cops. She's grieving yeah, very this bad. Is, this is something else. It's something else. Please forgive us. I'm taking her home. Yeah. And we went home. And it was a situation where even when she came here, she had uh, spoke to us and said, uh, you know, I'm sorry, y'all. I was talking to my son. I was, you know, I was touching my son. And in, in, in retrospect, I'm knowing now that it was his ashes that she kept close um, to where. And again, I want your thoughts on this because this is all retrospect. This is all... Mm -hmm. After the fact, I'm sure you weren't in that car to see what was going on. Mm -hmm. um, because. Yeah, I didn't know what the fuck was going on in the car. I was in the shop. You were in the shop. And I'm, I'm wondering, like, why the fuck they ain't leaving yet? Right. There's something going like, on over there. It had already went down. You need to leave before these laws get called because you know they're going to get called. It's getting there. Yeah. It's what? There. And ain't nobody in the fucking shop going to call the laws because of me. I told them, don't nobody call the laws. Mm. She's going to leave. Leave her alone. Everything's done. I did what I was supposed to do. That's that. If you fucking learn this lesson, I'll see him later. They ain't gonna learn this lesson then. That altercation in itself, of course, caused her to go in there and then, of course, take Giovanni's ashes. Um, of course, she did proceed to take him out, you know. I've seen the video. You've seen the video. They seen I, the video. And I was very upset about that. Not knowing she was upset about being slammed yeah, that, not, I, that, yeah, I, right. that, that I never knew about and, and, and screaming the death to everybody. And if you want to die, you're going to die. And she's rubbing Giovanni faces. But if y'all don't, don't realize, y'all run the tape back again. Y'all see that nigga do the same shit. He did the same stuff. That he, nigga rubbed Giovanni's ashes on his face. Now, I will say this. And tried to reverse the motherfucking spell and couldn't do the shit. Yes. He said he did that, which is... They don't know the truth, I, Jackie. Come down. Please. Please come back. They don't know the truth. Listen to the tape. He's trying to reverse the shit and can't. Until the demon tells him, where's your phone? Get your phone. I didn't realize one of my YGs had the nigga phone. And I'm sitting in the shop like, why the fuck they ain't leaving yet, bro? They need to be gone before the laws get here. 
She don't need to be in fucking trouble. They need to go. Because we hear her saying, Solar, come on. Like, as in, he left to go back towards the door. He was already at the door apologizing, telling her, I love Gerald. I love Gerald. I don't know why he's acting like this. I don't know. Blah, 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 woo, woo, woo. We love him. You know, he's blah, blah, blah. Shut the fuck up, nigga. Mm -hmm. That's why she was called, come, come. That was the, yeah. that was the higher demon called the lower demon to come. Mm. Y'all gotta understand, the word says, we don't fight flesh and blood, but we fight principalities and higher things in darkness. That's what we fight against in these last days. All right. So when you hear her say, come, 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 that's not my wife. My wife speaks in complete sentences and articulates her verbiage very well. When have y'all ever noticed her to sit there and have short sentences? Matter of fact, I filmed her getting pulled out of the vehicle, the police officer's car, because she was kicking the window, and every time she was kicking the window, she kicked it three times. And every time she kicked the window, she was screaming, bitch ass nigga, I'm going to kill you. That wasn't my wife. I know it was a demon. I've seen demon possessions before. I'm fourth generation Koji. One of the highest holiness churches in, in, this, in this world. I done seen people get healed. I done seen demon possessions. I done seen demon exorcisms. I done seen all that shit as a youngster in the church. I know what a demon possession looks like. I know what it sounds like. I know what it feels like. And all that shit added together to that. I know that was not my fucking wife. And today is the only day that I heard my fucking wife as I've heard her before. Mm. Since, bef since before since Saturday. that shit yeah so Goomba I have to ask who, who called the police nobody in the shop called the police I'd never called the police it had to have been somebody in a big life parking lot or the dance studio next door to us or the, somewhere else but is that's how chaotic the scene was? What? Yo, after the after 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 the beatdown, he was apologizing and all this other shit. She was come, 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 so lie. Come. All that bullshit there. You laying on the fucking horn. Give me his phone. Give me his phone. You know, all that shit. You causing the mix, you, you causing the fucking uh, Some disturbance, uh, disturbance for, the peace. Yeah, folks trying for to for the go other to, businesses. Yeah, folks trying to take care of their business. What time, time is this? It's, it's like, it looks like it's like five o'clock. Sunset, it was like about down near sunset. Okay, on, on the Sabbath. On a on a Sabbath, yes. And you supposed to have gone to church MLK weekend and pick up everybody and on the MLK weekend. Yeah, I told you to leave. Leave. We didn't, I didn't do what the fuck I wanted to do. I, I hope I showed this nigga. I'm not fucking playing no fucking games about my family. And you still here? You want to come and get out the car, grab Giovanni's ashes, spread them everywhere because you've been slammed that I don't know about. But as soon as I find out, I violate that nigga. I discipline him. Nigga, don't you ever put your hands on mine. Nigga, I'm OG around here, nigga. Don't ever put your hands on mine. I don't care if you trying to secure her or whatever the fucking case may be, nigga. Don't do that shit. She'll be with you, she'll be you with a bottle, OG. I didn't feel it. Mm -hmm. They, they call me Goomba Head for a reason. I didn't feel that motherfucking shit. I heard she was beating me with a fucking bottle, punching me in the head. I never felt none of that shit because my focus was on this bitch ass nigga. Mm. Stay away from my wife. You don't think fat me greasy? I'm showing you right now. It's greasy and a bitch. So I'm about to ask you then, you, you go live. Mm -hmm. At the moment you go live. 
I go live because the cops I, already. I, I can't. I they are they already they done pulled up fast in the hole. Well, how many they, how many squad cars? Just at the time I looked up, it was about four of them. Wow. I'm talking about. They pull up. Somebody done called. You know what I'm saying? So, somebody done called. She out there. Throwing Johnny Giovanni's ashes everywhere. I not realize this was fucking going on. My partners come in. Yo, get your wife. She out there throwing dirt. She throwing dirt. Nigga, what? I get questioned. Yo, your wife. I heard the wife threw ashes on you. She ain't throw Giovanni's ashes on me. I was already in the motherfucking shop. I stopped beating this nigga's ass. And going to shop to fucking calm the fuck down so y'all can fucking leave. Mm. You want to fucking get rowdy and shit and want to throw Giovanni's ashes because somebody done put the heads on you. I ain't fucking know about. Because mm. I'm maintaining on this nigga. All I know is my nigga's going to make sure that you safe and I'm safe. That way you ain't fucking come over here and pull us off and I fucking snap off on you and... And you get in the fucking scuffle. Right. So I didn't even know nothing about that shit until afterwards. Right. Until a little homie say, OG, I'm just letting you know, hey, I had to. She was she about to jump on top of you. Nigga, you don't touch mine, nigga. Let her jump on top of me, nigga. Matter of fact, now you gotta face me. Let me take care of you real quick. Let me teach you a lesson. If OG say don't touch her, nigga, you don't touch her. Period. Point motherfucker blank. Yeah. Now you gotta, now you gotta taste what the fuck I gotta get to you. And you tasted that shit. Mm. And he respected that shit. I was out of line, OG. My fault. We I love you. We love you. Mm. We looking out for you. I appreciate that. But I never gave you that order, nigga. I told you to watch after her. Make sure she doesn't get hurt. Not hurt her. If she fucking fights you, nigga, that's what that is. You eat that. You eat that. Wave her off, if anything, honestly. You eat that. And you got her to a safety, nigga. You eat that. You don't pick my motherfucking wife up and dump her, nigga. Now you got to see me. You don't want to see OG. What, what BG want to see OG for real, though? That's real. Shit. Well, why do you want to see OG? No, none of them. That's real. So. And I'm glad, and I'm glad you, you're understanding that because that's one thing that Jaguar was uh, vocal about. Again, I, I will say with, you know, when she went live with Tokyo Tony. Yeah. That's one thing she really said, like, yeah, you know, yeah. and he, like, he knew that they were going to dump me. He did. He, I didn't know none of that shit, baby. And it was addressed. And I'm addressing that shit now. I didn't know that shit. And when I found out your husband took care of it like an OG should. And guess what? That nigga has more respect for you than anything. Mm. You, you are Mrs. Soldier. They know not to fuck with you. Because if they fuck with you, they got to fuck with me and they know not to fuck with me. Mm. So I have to ask, uh, Goomba, when you went live, yeah, Solar was in the back seat of a uh, police. Before, but, uh, the, yeah, the, I caught, I caught that. Yeah, as a, you, at, at the right time, yeah. as he was getting placed in the back seat of the uh, cop car, because his ass started to fucking don't touch her. Ah, la, 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 la. And I'm just, and it was like, shut the fuck up, motherfucker. Get matter of fact, put your ass in the car. Yeah, I'm just curious, because again, we weren't there. Yeah. Solar's in the back of a squad car. Before that, he was acting, uh, American, American, I'm American, blah, 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 what the woo. He tried to put spells on these niggas. When you say these niggas, you mean the laws. Damn. He tried to put a love spell on them. I love you, I love you, I Damn. love you. If y'all go back to where Nature Boy and Carbonation actually got caught up and locked up, look at what they were saying. 
They were saying, I love you. I love you. I love you. Peace unto you. They were saying the love spell so therefore they wouldn't get fucking handled the way they got handled. This nigga learned from that fucking lesson and used that shit up on the fucking DeSoto Police Department. For some reason, now I don't want to say for some reason, Jaguar was the more aggressive in that scenario. Mm -hmm. Uh, Solar did not get taken to jail, but Jaguar got apprehended. You like you said, she was kicking a window. She was kicking the window to the point where she fucking. I love my wife. <laughs> She's so strong. <laughs> she fucking kicked this guy. I'm thinking it was her head the whole time. My baby kicked the damn goddamn cop car door to the point where she ajarred that bitch. As if, if you know, if you from the hood and you lock your keys in the car. You know how much strength it takes to pull that fucking door frame back to stick the goddamn hang off in that bitch to pop that lock. My baby kicked that bitch three times to the point where that motherfucker was ajar. And the motherfucker cop was like, Sarge, my door is fucked up. And I'm looking like, <laughs> God damn, my baby got that script. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm watching, cause y'all pulled out the car and y'all hog tied her. Y'all was about to put your knees in the back. And I screamed out. I got other videos that I never posted on fucking Instagram or nowhere else. Where I scream, don't put y'all knees in her back. She has a bad back. She has scoliosis. And y'all listen to me. Hmm. And y'all backed off. Y'all let her rant and rave. Said what she said. Blah, 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 whoop, whoop. And y'all call the ambulance for her. Thank you. Thank you for listening to me. Because y'all could have done whatever the fuck y'all wanted to and been sued by my love. And been justified because I would have been a character witness because I got the videos for the shit. And so that's what we see as far as ambulance pulling up, uh, stretcher. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then them, of course, I mean, she was screaming all She wanted to go to Lou Sterrick. She thought that was going to get her to Lou Sterrick. But it wasn't gonna get it loose there. Yeah, you know. They you know. came and asked me, did she have mental problems? Yeah, they did. And I told her she she she's she's a PTSD survivor yeah. of, of of a gang rape and everything else and sexual assault and abuse and everything. Would she would she speak yeah, she, And they understood. Right. And that's why they told me, you know, she tried to spit on us, but we're not charging her with anything. No assault, anything. You're not pressing any charges, are you? No, sir, I'm not. If I was to press charges, I would press charges on that nigga. But I forgive him. I want him just away from my fucking wife. And that mindset right then, you were on a forgiving mindset. Yeah. Wow. I just want this nigga away from my wife. I'm tired of you fucking manipulating my woman. Mm. And I'm telling her that she's been manipulated, but you constantly... You magician. Mm. It's on your fucking Instagram, you magician. You told me you're an alchemist. Mm. All right, well, let's 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 cap this part in like this. For what took place on Saturday, yeah. um, MLK weekend. Yeah. Again, like I said, we had been in constant communication. We were supposed to go to a party, we were supposed to be turned mm -hmm. up, and yeah. everything went left. Yeah. And uh Jaguar was escorted off. Yeah. Um what was in your mind at that time? And if it's anger, it's okay. If what, it, if what, it was, what, if you were what, upset, it's okay. What was in my mind at the time was, fuck, this nigga got my goddamn baby fucking locked the fuck up. Like, how did we get here? Like, she should have just fucking left. Like, if you just drove off, my nigga would have been straight. But you allowed this bitch ass nigga to fucking sit there. Let's talk for a second. Let's sit here and just talk. Let's talk. Let's do this. Let's do that. Nigga, she gotta go. Why the fuck are you gonna sit here and wait for the cops? 
You can wait for the smear my, my son-in-law in our face and say that everybody's a dead man. And for you to grab the shit and put it on your face as a fucking ritual. Nigga, you don't fucking know us, bro. And you try to reverse the spell because you tell, tell her they don't know the truth. They don't know the truth yet. They don't understand what's going on. If everybody goes back and listen to this shit, you can hear this nigga try to reverse the spell and he can't do it because it's too powerful. Mm. Which fucks with me. Because my wife tells me she wasn't under a spell. I'm like, baby, you were. You were not yourself. I'm not told you you weren't yourself. And this nigga want to interrupt and say, yo, hey, don't talk to her that way. Bitch ass nigga, you shut the fuck up. This is my wife. I know what's best for my wife. Just as well she knows what's best for me. And I said that live on this camera because, again, as y'all came back and did our interview with Real Life Street Stars. You noticed for yourself we was working on yeah, shit. It, it was good. The energy and everything did change upon that past week. Um, based on what I was seeing uh, taking place on Saturday, I'm like, this is not this is not the Jag I know that would know what's up at stake putting this up front. So th it made me question, was there deeper issues with you both of y'all was it deeper issues with her and Solar? Was was he unlocking something that that was that believe, needed to be I, spoken? I, I, I really believe that he was trying to unlock her unconscious because he finally figured out her astrological chart because she was vulnerable enough to give it to him since he's so capable of reading them. Nigga, I'm smarter than the average motherfucking bear. Nigga, I know what the fuck you trying to do. That's why I gave you what the fuck I gave you. I gave you the default for a reason so you really couldn't see me beating your ass in the chart. Nigga, I'm very smart. My wife married me for a fucking specific reason. Mm. This benefits to me and her. Right. All right, well, I, I'm definitely glad you were able to clarify again from your uh, your perspective of that Saturday again. Jaguar is a person that you know we take dear to heart, and therefore, for you to be able to speak on this and you know tell us this story, um, we need that. We need to understand your portion of this. And again, there's more to the story that we'll uncover. Yeah. Um, but I definitely wanted to get you know the Shreveport incident, and then of course this incident to understand what took place to go because a lot of people have a lot of. Uh, Yo, I'm there's a lot like of dialogue this. going I'm, on. I'm, I'm going to tell you like this. If you go to his live in Shreveport, you see my wife fucking dancing like I've never seen her dance before. Mm. And I've been her husband for four fucking years and I've watched my wife dance. I ain't never seen her do the fucking alpha fraternity stomp dance because <laughs> she helped choreographer that motherfucker. So what type of motherfucking magic, what hypnosis do you have to have to have my wife do shit like that? Me, four years, have never seen my wife fucking show me the choreography to the A5A A A motherfucking fraternity that she helped cho choreographer. Hmm. You feel me? Wow. But you got this shit on camera. As if you showing everybody how you got her in your motherfucking shit, nigga. I'm very smart, but I play dumb very well. Hey, talk to him. All right, well, we're going to stop it right there, man. Uh, I definitely want to take this moment to pause. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna discuss, and then therefore we're going to take it from there. But Goomba, again, that is the very essence of, you know, again, your side, right? Her side, right? And the truth, and the truth, right? And we need it all, so yeah. I definitely do thank you for providing that information to us. No problem, man. I, I I enjoy being here with our business partners. There you go. And sharing my story. There you go. I'm not going to allow my wife or anybody else to negate my story. Yeah. Can't nobody tell me what the fuck I've been through and what the fuck I didn't see. I'm not insane. 
as the world can see, as the world has said, I did the right fucking thing. Protect the mind. Like any other human man will protect his own family. Perception is a motherfucker, man. What? (laughs) Goomba, we thank you, man. We're going to do it like this. We're going to stop right there. Yeah, much love. We'll get right back to it. Shout out to uh, uh, my, my guy, brother Mike, and and and, and our nonprofit, uh, men working with boys. So if you have a young man who doesn't have his father in his life, and 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 needs guidance, yo, men working with boys, hey, we out there, we we here, and we're gonna you double know. down on that, man. Shout out Mike. Yep. Shout out men working with boys. Hey, DallasDelphiaTVNetwork.com. We still live in the effect, baby. That's the only time you go see that nigga <laughs> on our channel. Talk to him. <laughs> Talk to him. You know, hey, episode two, go watch it. Go watch it. We're about hey, to get to it, man. Subscribe, baby. Hey, Google, real life. Let's go.